didn't think of that earlier today. <laughs> so, no problem. Okay, here we are. You got that? Energy is good. This is this is what it's all about. I've decided that talking too much about the energy bill <coughs> is is just not as effective as simple simple bumper stickers and an occasional joke. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> so <coughs> eighty five to twelve is a pretty good signal of of support for a product that came to came to the Senate came to the Senate floor as a result of a good process. And as substantive as this bill is, as much good policy and policy reform uh, that is reflected in it, uh, I am equally proud of the process that we used to get here. To have, to have 80 members of the Senate have some level of ownership in the sense of, of input, amendment, uh, a process that they are included is a good, a good path to be on here in the United States Senate because we haven't been on that near enough. So I think the vote that you see reflected this morning is, is indicative, again, of, of the need to update and modernize our, our energy policies, but also a recognition of, of a collaborative effort where we allowed the committee to work through a, a series of oversight hearings, a series of legislative hearings, markups, and then a very fulsome amendment process on the floor. Between the voice, voice votes that we took up yesterday and what we had taken up in, in February, some 64 uh, amendments there, the various roll call votes that we have processed. Um, this is how the, spe the Senate is supposed to work. So we go from here to, to the House uh, to a, a hopefully a conference process. And my hope is that the, the House takes a look at, at the strong vote over here and we're able to get to work early and quickly and uh, get to that place where we have a conference product that we can bring back, finalize, and, and then act, enact good energy uh, policy reforms into law. Senator Cantwell has been an amazing rock star partner, and I really appreciate not only how, how we have been able to work together, but how our staffs have been able to work together. Um, some, some difficult issues, but there was a commitment on both sides to make it work, and I, I thank you for that. Thank you. Well, um, the Senate definitely did its job today, and that is to pass a modernization of our energy infrastructure that is so needed in America so we can move forward on cleaner, more efficient sources of energy and train and skill people for the next generation jobs that are going to be required of this. So very happy to see this resounding bipartisan vote in the United States Senate on this legislation. I want to thank uh, Chairman Murkowski for her leadership on this issue. Uh, Lisa established a process that is about regular order. And I think that she showed that she is a true legislator. So thank you for that. Thank you. Because of her willingness to work in a bipartisan fashion, have an open amendment process in the committee and on the floor and consider so many pieces of legislation by our colleagues, I think that was what the success in today's resounding vote is about that and the fact that there is so much to do in our energy infrastructure moving forward. In the northwest parlance of Warren Magnuson, there are workhorses and there are show horses, and Lisa Murkowski is a workhorse. And so thank you so much for all that you've done to move this legislation and show America that the Senate can work in this process, that we can move forward on something as critical as cybersecurity, as competitiveness in our grid, and advancing a strategy for cleaner energy. Senator Cantwell mentions um, Senator Magnuson, and I think it is somewhat uh, interesting. Uh, we're both going to be going to an event later this evening that is celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Magnuson-Stevens Act. 
Senator Magnuson from Washington, Senator Stevens from Alaska came together 40 years ago to, to draft um, really the, the seminal law on, on our fisheries and fisheries management. Um, so I think it's kind of good to have Washington <laughs> and Alaska working together in the energy space. Questions? Uh, thanks for doing this. Um, Andrew Restuche with Politico. Um, Senator McCuskey, could you talk about what you see as the biggest um, obstacles or hurdles um, facing the bill as you conference with the House? And Senator Campbell, can you, is there, is there any reaction to the liberal criticism of the bill, particularly on uh, liquefied natural gas exports? I, you know, one of the concerns that I think that we have or, or the obstacles that we have in front of us is time and the calendar and the fact that in order to have a conference, the House and the Senate have to be in town at the same time. So we, you, you look at the calendar going forward and uh, we've got some work to do. There are, there, are some, there are some keen differences between the House bill and the Senate bill, so we've got our work cut out for us. So we're going to be needing to move, I think, very quickly, as quickly as we can. Uh, we have some, some issues that we have some differences on, and uh, those, can, those can be challenges, but I think we have demonstrated with the process that we have used here on the Senate side, both through committee and now through the floor, we can work through issues. Calendar is a little more challenging, so that's why I want to get on it as quickly as possible. We uh, codified into the law the process that Secretary Moniz says that the Department of Energy currently follows on those exports, and so we're satisfied with the language and and uh, think that it's a it's a, a fair description of the process that takes place today. Anything else? What do you think the biggest hurdles when it comes to the differences between the two bills? Well, uh, you have a. Uh, uh, I think I think you have a difference um, with some members uh, on the House side uh, that, that perhaps view the land acquisition um, aspects uh, a little bit differently with, within LWCF. Uh, but again, I think that that is an issue that is, is resolvable. Um, I think you will have some who will say, well, you didn't eliminate the loan guarantee program. We wanted you to get rid of it altogether. Instead, what we did was we worked to seriously uh, put some reforms in that. And I think, again, if we can walk people through what it is that we have done, I think some of the issues that are viewed now as obstacles or roadblocks are, are alleviated. I think the big difference is we have a big bipartisan bill in the Senate. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you expect that there's going to be a formal conference? I um, mean, or at least will the Senate announce conferees very soon, or is this going to happen? Is this going to be like an informal conference where you know a few a few members and staff are talking to kind of work out the issues, and then you'll. The last time there was a conference on an energy bill was 2005. 2005. We've kind of forgotten how to do a conference uh, around here. I think it's time we get back to that. I think we need to retrain a little bit on that, and it is my hope that it will be a full and a formal conference. Um, in 2005, the House led that conference, so it will be the Senate's turn, and uh, I'm going to be encouraging a, a, a full conference the way it used to be. We had one in, in HELP when we did the the uh, education <coughs> bill, uh, uh, Every Student Succeeds Act. And it was kind of nice to be back doing a real conference. That's what I well, want to do I, in energy. I, and I, listen, this is such great you know, news. I, we talked about this yesterday. And um, as I said, I think Senator Murkowski is a legislator. That's what's working in this process, legislating, regular order. That's what's winning the day. The Senate should do more of it. Do you, do you anticipate can, can then that there, that there will be the, the Senate will name conferees very fairly quickly, which is what you indicated you I, do? We need to have that conversation with leadership. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your plans regarding the fiscal crisis in Puerto Rico? Uh, are you waiting for the House bill and the case <coughs> of Chairwoman Murkowski? Can you support the uh, construction process of the debt? I'm, I'm going to 
I'm going to defer on Puerto Rico right now. I think we all know that uh, defer comments on Puerto Rico right now. I think we all know that the that the focus has been on what the House is trying to do. Clearly, the the Senate Energy Committee has as a role. I think it's fair to say Senator Cantwell and I will be engaged with that. But right now, I have an Interior Appropriations Committee that was supposed to start at 10:45, and I have Gina McCarthy down there waiting to talk to me. So I am going to excuse myself, yep, and I know you. you've got a markup as yep. well. But thank, thank you. you. Thank and just you. remember, this is it. This is all you need to write. Right there. <laughs> End of story. Good. Good. Thank you all.